Hello everybody, welcome back if you're a returning viewer, welcome if you are new, my name is Addie and this is the Knits by AJ Knitting Podcast and this is where I come every week to talk about my knitting projects and how much I've progressed in the past week. Um, I have got no finished objects to talk about today, it is all whips um, and yeah, so there's three, I've got, no, four whips to talk about today and um, three of which you've seen before, one of which is a new cast on. So yeah, let's get into it. As always, um, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as also Knits by AJ. I will put them both up here. <laughs> um, so if you do want to go and find me and see any projects um, that I am working on in a bit more of like a, a an up-to-date state um if you're watching this midweek and um as always um anything that i talk about any makers any yarns um buttons anything like that um will be linked in the description below um alongside my own project pages on ravelry so um yes let's get into so let's get into the knitting um so first of all, what I am wearing. Today I am wearing my Colour Tip Tee, which is a pattern by Emily Curtis of Gently Chaotic Knits. And I knit this up in size two using Knitting for Olive Merino in the colour kit or putty. I think they're the same, I don't know. So yeah, I knit this up in um, size two and I think I featured this as a finished object in my first ever episode, which was, that was like six months ago now. I don't know where the last six months have gone. And yeah, it's just a set in sleeve style knitted t-shirt. Um, it does have an option for a pocket, which I did not do. And yeah, I wear this quite often and I've got no pilling on it whatsoever. So credit to the yarn, it's a little bit pricier. Um, and so I did expect quite a lot from it, but, and the amount that everybody raves on about it, but yeah, I'm very happy with it. It's very, very soft, perfect next to skin. I wear this all the time. So yeah, um, very, very happy. And then today I've just got it on with my dungarees and yeah, I think if I was to knit this again though, I think I'd knit size one, um, cause it is a little bit, a little bit baggy on the, uh, on the sleeves and I have got quite a lot of positive ease in here, so I think I can probably knit size one comfortably, but it's not a bad fit. I like it. I definitely knit it again. Um, I think when it gets to more kind of like knitted tea sort of weather, I think I'd like to pick, try out the um, Knitting for Olive Cotton Merino to knit one of these. So yes, that is what I am wearing today. And um, let's get into some whips. So my first whip is my festival dress, which did not appear last week um, because I got a little bit annoyed at it and I put it in a corner. So this is a pattern by Petite Knit. I am knitting the fifth size in this and um, it's a, so that's age three to four for my daughter who will be four very, very soon. So, um, Yes, I am using 2.25 and 2.75 millimetre needles, as I've said before, and previously I have spoken about this in the fact that there are issues in the pattern about the increase rates, and so the bobble rounds rely on there being an even amount of stitches, and in the size that I am seeing and a couple of other sizes, there are not an even amount of stitches, and so that was why I got frustrated and I put it down. So I have now picked it back up again. Not last week, but the, so the last time I showed this, I was here and so yeah, so I was here and I've since then done four more. Let me hold this in a way that's actually gonna be viewable. So yeah, I was here and I have now done four more one, two, three, sorry, three more increase rounds. Um, and yeah, three more stripes. So I'm heading towards the fourth. 
For my size there are nine increased rounds for the skirt and so I am just flowing towards that. Um, I have since worked out this week that so the increases they're, they're all written out so that you like knit a certain amount of stitch and it's the same for every size which I assume is where the issue has come across because it may have been easier to um, write out like knit this amount of stitches and then increase for every single size instead of writing out a different increase rate for each size but what I've been doing is I've been grouping them into groups of two and then just swapping them so I get an extra increase on the first increase and one less on the second no so I get one less increase on the first increase and then an extra one on the second increase to maintain the even amount of stitches for the bobble rounds and it does seem to be working for me I mean I can't speak for every single size I've not worked it out for every single size that's got an issue with the odd numbers and even numbers but for my size it does seem to be working and um, like on a couple of increases I've ended up with like a couple of stitches extra to knit on the on the round but for me that's not a problem I just like once I get to the last increase to fit in my specific number I'm trying to say this without giving away a load of stuff of the pattern so yeah once I get to the last increase for my um, like specified amount of stitches if they've got like two or three at the end I just knit them and then just carry on um, and it does seem to be working okay. To be honest, I'm not overly fussed um, how many stitches I end up with um, in the round as long as I end up with an even number. So I'm kind of sticking to the pattern, but also not because for the, the sake of like two stitches, I don't think it's really gonna make that much difference. That may end up being like famous last words, but you know, that's where I'm going at the moment. And it does seem to be working because now I don't have that awkward, sorry, this is the back. Um, and this down here is my beginning of round so I don't seem to have any of the issue where there's like two stitches between the bobbles that I was having previously and it all matches up with these ones at the top that are like uh, that are for the body so yeah this problem is only for the skirt portion it is not for the not for the yoke before you split the sleeves so yeah I made a good amount of progress to be honest considering the fact that I did not pick this up last week like prior to filming last week's podcast at all so this is all just one week's worth of progress and it's kind of it's taken over for my muscle bras as like my kind of editing knitting and like just needing stockinette knitting um and I'm just I feel like this project is now kind of my, it's not so much an I'm really enjoying knitting this, it's more of a, I've, what is it that they call it? Sunk cost fallacy or something like that? Um, it, yeah, it's more that I have like sunk so much time into this already that I don't want to frog it. Um, yeah, that I don't want to frog it and lose all of that work and effort and time that I have put into it already. I'd want to just, I'm just going to plough through and get it off the needles and get it done. Because I do think it's going to be really nice once it's done. It's going to be a really lovely, like, lightweight but warm dress for my daughter. It's just, it's, I just, yeah, my my heart is not in it as much as I would like it to be and it's purely because of that issue and it's just it's just wound me up there has been an update to this pattern actually it came out last week um so that she's added more sizes but I have not looked at the pattern update yet so I can't say as to whether or not it's fixed the issue with the sizing so um yes uh the yarns that I am using are woolly knit super soft Merino four ply in the colour rose, which is this beautiful solid pink. And my contrast colour is Wiku Yarns Superwash Merino Fingering in the colour Homestead. And I am really enjoying using these yarns. So that this woolly knit is super soft, like it says, and it's really bouncy. Um let's see if I can get So yeah, it's super soft, it's really bouncy, it's really like nice and smooth to knit with. Um, it's not 
because I'm using very, I'm using much smaller needles, I had to go down a couple of needle sizes to get gauge. It's not splitty, like I find a lot of um, kind of sort of superwash merinos can be. And I use um, Chow Gu lace, is it the red lace um, needles? So they are particularly sharp and I do constantly split yarns. Um, so yeah, I'm, I've not found any issues with the yarn. The Wiku is exactly the same, like the colour shift is absolutely beautiful. Um, like all of these bobbles, like I think the colour is particularly fitting for Easter, like lots of yellows, purples, pastel blues, that kind of thing. Um, and also that I'm not finding that overly splitty at all either. Um, so yeah, just carrying on with this and I'm hoping to have the skirt done quite soon so that I can uh, move on to the sleeves. Once I get the skirt out of the way, I think the sleeves are gonna be quite quick in comparison. So yeah, that is my progress. I should have bought, oh, I did bring a tape measure up. So yeah, I managed, I should have measured this beforehand. That would have been clever. So yeah, in the past week I have managed 14 centimeters. I have no idea what that is in inches. Five and a half inches um, on the skirt. So yeah, that is that. And I cast this on on February the 24th. So it's currently been on my needles for 30 days. Um, despite the fact that I obviously didn't touch it for a week. So yeah, that is my festival dress. So whip number two is my older sweater, which is a pattern by Rebecca Klo. And I am using um, BC Garns Lock Le Monde in the colours Pine Tree and Sand. I should not put that there. <laughs> yeah, so Pine Tree and Sand. And um, I am also using three millimetre needles for my ribbing and 3.5s for my main fabric. And I am use I'm knitting size two. So I did film some B-roll. I say I, I got my wonderful husband to film some B-roll of me wearing this. Um, which I will put in at some point, but yeah, it's just been like slow progress on this, um, this week, um, I have finished sleeve one, so this was where I was last time, oh, hang on, how am I going to show this, right, yeah, so this marker here, was where I was last time and so I have knit this much of the sleeve so that is the end of sleeve one so I've knit it to the length specified in the pattern um, and then I have picked up for sleeve two and this is just on some tubing at the moment because I filmed my b-roll before I started filming this because I thought it would just be a little bit simpler and then it's this isn't all like squished up on a small circular so yeah there is sleeve the start of sleeve two and I've done one increase and I'm like heading towards the second increase on sleeve two. Sleeve two is going much faster but I knew that that was going to happen because once you've done it once it's just like it's like when you go on holiday it's always really slow getting there but then really fast coming back that kind of thing. So um yes I have tried this on and right now the sleeves are coming up a little bit short for my liking. Obviously they don't have ribbing on them at the moment because my I knew that the sleeves were probably going to come up a bit short um, because my yoke depth is not as long as the pattern would like. Um, and so what I decided I was going to do, and I think I mentioned this last week, is that I was going to knit this, I've knit the sleeves to the length specified in the pattern, and then I'm going to finish sleeve two, and then block what I've got, and see where those sleeves are on me post blocking so that I know exactly how much extra length I may want to add in um because right now I think when I tried it on it was like sort of like here um so even with the ribbing it would just be hitting me bracelet length which I know lots of people like a bracelet length sleeve I don't I like a bit more of a longer sleeve otherwise I feel like when I'm like doing anything that they're kind of like creeping up um and then I get cold hands and wrists so my yeah, my plan is to block it, see how far I've, I've got to knit until I get to like my preferred sleeve length with the ribbing on and then um, I will knit the ribbing. 
before I then continue, well, I'll probably continue with the body a little bit as well, but you know. And I know that I could just put the ribbing on it, block it and then see where it is and then like just do that thing where you cut your knitting and then graft it back, graft the cuff back on. But to be honest, I don't know how confident I feel doing that in this kind of like quite complex all over patterning um, without like losing stitches or it not lining up properly. And I would rather just get like the perfect fit before I knit the cuffs. I don't mind waiting a little bit longer for this to get the fit absolutely perfect um because i really feel like this is going to be a staple in my wardrobe it's very much my colors and yeah the yarn is like an absolute dream to work with like i said before i absolutely love this yarn it's soft against the skin like i could quite easily just wear this with nothing else underneath it and um like it's so light it's like wearing nothing so yeah i want to get the fit spot on with this um, and I would rather wait a little bit longer and block it and make sure that it is absolutely where I want it before I cast it off because I'm also well aware of the fact that we are in the end of March and so the weather is probably going to start warming up soon I'm not going to really want to get that much I'm not going to really want to throw on a like 100% wool woolen spun jumper I'm probably going to want to be in more kind of like spring appropriate knits fairly soon. So if this is something that I finish and then I have to put it away until the autumn or the winter, then I'm perfectly fine with that. But I, like I say, I just want to get the, the fit spot on. So yes, um, plans for this week is to just finish off sleeve two and yeah, see if I can get that block so I see know exactly how much extra length I need to add and as for time spent knitting this I cast this on on February the 16th and so it's been on my needles for 38 days at the moment oh it's so squidgy I can't wait to be able to wear this to be honest I might wear it even when it's too hot just because I love it that much um so yeah that is my Alder sweater by Rebecca Clough and Whip number three is also another pattern by Rebecca Clo of the Crayo Bayer. Um, yes, this is my Daft Days cardigan and I am knitting this on 3.75mm and 4.5mm needles and it's a bottom up cardigan um, in like an all over sti slip stitch pattern and for this one I am knitting size one. Um, the yarns that I'm using are Phil Kalana, oh, I should have been more prepared and got this box up earlier. And opened it. So yeah, the yarns that I am using are Phil Kalana Panilla in the colour Marzipan, and then my contrast colours are all from Laura. Of the, this is just so awkward. <laughs> so these are all of my contrast colours, and they're all they're all looking a little bit dishevelled now because obviously I've used them all once to knit up my cardigan. And yeah, they are all from um, Laura of the Lonely Knitter, who you will also, like if you've been here a while, you'll know that I'm also a massive fangirl of. I absolutely love everything that she brings out and I have quite a lot of her yarn. So it just felt like that this, it just felt like I needed to knit one of these in her yarn. And if, <laughs> if you're around a at the beginning of the year then um you'll know that I also knit the shawl version of this pattern in Laura's yarn um I used her um her advent which I had this year <laughs> so now I have a shawl in the Lonely Knitter advent the Daft Days shawl in the Lonely Knitter advent and now I'm gonna have the uh the Daft Days cardigan in the Lonely Knitter's mini skeins so most of these are left over from my striped sweater, I'll pop a picture up here, which was the, I used all of the variegated and all of the tonal mini skeins and one full skein from the Ice and Fire collection that Laura bought out last year. I think it was like last summer. I vaguely remember it being last summer. So yeah, I'm using those and then I've also got one of her club mini skein sets which was inspired by Frozen which I initially bought to knit socks for my daughter but then um, pinched them to knit this for myself instead. 
Um, so last week I was, where was I? Last week I was here. And so, um, yeah, I was just on the body. And so since then I have now knit to the underarm and I knit to the underarm and then I, before I split for the back and front, I um, decided that I was gonna block it just to make sure that I got enough length in the body because I have quite a long torso. So I had already knit to the point where I was, um, like I had the length specified in the pattern, but I didn't wanna have to either cut into it and then add extra length or undo the front and backs the fronts and back to add in extra length if it was too short and so yeah I knit to the and I decided to block it once I got to the underarm split and it was perfectly fine I have found that actually the yarns that I am using because all of the minis are superwash merino nylon blends and then the main colour that I'm using the panilla is a non-superwash this is quite like malleable when it's wet so if I really wanted like extra width or extra length, I could have it without having to knit anymore just by kind of manipulating it in blocking. So I did like the, the old pattern squish really to get the length that I've got at the moment. However, if I really do in future feel like I need a little bit more length, then I can just re-block it and just kind of pull it down a bit, which is quite nice to know um, instead of having to like re-knit. So I have done now the fronts and the backs and joined them at the shoulder with the three needle bind off. And this has got increases after you split for the sleeves, um, which I have never done before. So that was quite interesting. So yeah, it kind of, you cast off for the underarm and then you knit increases to get the like drop shoulder that you're looking for which is quite nice, I like that. Um, it should help, I guess that kind of helps with the sleeve as well to make sure that the sleeve is all the same length like you would here um, with your short rows. Instead of having loads of extra fabric under the arm, it means that it's gonna come down like kind of at the same rate. So yeah, I think it's, really, it's like really well thought out on the idea of fit, which I'm, I'm very much enjoying. And um, so the next thing that I have to do on this is just pick up the sleeves and knit those and then um, just do the button band. So this is just like flying off my needles and I think it's because this is just my priority at the moment, like I want to be wearing this. The spring weather has come, although we are now due to have like two weeks worth of rain. So yeah, I'm just, I, I want to wear this. Um, I've really been looking for more cardigans in my wardrobe because I want to wear my knitted tees but obviously it's now cold I'm actually quite chilly at the moment I really wish I'd put a cardigan on um so yeah thinner jumpers cardigans definitely what I'm looking for at the moment anyway so yeah I have used all of my minis once now I can't fully remember what all of them are um I will have them written in order from bottom up in my Ravelry project page. Cause I can't, most of them, I can remember what they are, but this one, this is one of the, um, yeah, this one, this is one of the Ice and Fire minis. And I just, I cannot for the life of me remember what it is. Um, so yeah, what is it? I can't remember. Either way, so yeah. And I am also into my second ball of Panilla. And so this is how much I've got left after knitting the body of the second ball of Panilla. Um, so yeah, I've got, I've got four balls of the Panilla and I think that that should be more than enough to finish this off. So yeah, that is my daft days. And I cast this off, cast this off? I cast this on on March the 14th. And so it's currently been on my needles for 11 days. So yeah, I think that I would like to have this cast off by next week but that may also be wishful thinking so yeah that is my daft days by rebecca clo and that brings me to my last whip so my last whip is a pair of socks and i just wanted something just super easy to be able to knit in the car because we we're coming up to the easter holidays um 
and so we have got a couple of days out planned and everything so I wanted something that was going to be quite portable and something I can just chuck in my bag for when I have a couple of minutes to spare and so I decided to just cast on a pair of vanilla socks and I think this is my first pair of vanilla socks I've knit for myself this year everything else has been patterned um, and so I am just using the usual numbers that I would use for a vanilla sock for myself so I've cast on 56 stitches and done 11 rounds of two by two there we go 11 rounds of two by two rib and um I will now increase to 60 stitches to knit my leg um I am using two millimeter needles which is what I always use for vanilla socks for myself um I'm not sure what heel I think pro I'll probably go for a heel fluff and gusset just standard slip stitch heel the yarns that I am using are also from Laura of the Lonely Knitter and um they are from a sock set that I got from her last year I knit a totally tank top I'll put a picture of it up here um out of these and this is what I've got left over and yeah so there we are um, so these were the Princess Diaries sock set so yeah it's just like this green mini and then this like purples and oranges um, for the main skein so yeah that is what I'm using and this is as far as I have got um, just through the ribbing and then I'm about to yeah start the main body of the sock um, yeah and the reason I have cast on fewer stitches for my ribbing is because I often find that the ribbing kind of like bulges out and so I wanted to kind of prevent that from happening so I've cast on fewer stitches for my ribbing and then it will increase out and I think it's just because my pearls are just a little bit loose um so yeah I cast these on on March the 24th and so yeah these have been on my needles for one day I cast these on last night and just knit the ribbing so yeah that is my vanilla sock um I have no real like time sort of frame for those they're probably be on my needles for a long time but it's nice to have some kind of pick up and put down knitting isn't it and that comes that brings me to the end of my actual knitting and the only acquisition that I've got this week is some buttons um so as we all know that I am knitting myself some cardigans this year so I felt like I needed some buttons so I went on to Etsy and I ordered some from Pigeon Wishes so I got three sets of buttons so I got these ones which are the 25 millimeter um, size and the pattern is called Midsummer and then I also got these ones which oh, are the also the 25 millimeter and these are South End on Sea and these are like all resin buttons um, I've been eyeing up Pigeon Wishing buttons pigeon wishes buttons for a while and decided to just dive in and order some because to be honest I always go for really boring buttons and I've got some like fun colourful spring cardigans um, on my needles and coming up so I thought I'll, I'll order some fun buttons to really finish those off so these two are the ones that I am choosing between for my daft days cardigan so yeah I don't know I'm completely undecided as to which ones I want so yeah I don't know let me know which ones you think will go best the the midsummer or the south end on sea because I am currently leaning towards these ones the midsummer but yeah I'm not sure and then the other ones these ones I did I have settled on for a project and these are the 20, oh sorry for rustling. These are the 20 millimeter buttons in the color Neverland. And I am going to hold these with, I'm going to use these on the, what's it called? Circane cardigan that I want to knit out of this Drops Daisy, which, disclaimer here, um, this yarn was gifted to me by um, 
Hobby Jobby and, and I am also an affiliate with them so um, links down below for them will be affiliate links. So yeah I will be knitting a Circuit A cardigan by um, by Kate Davies Designs, I've got a picture up here and these are the buttons that I have got to put on there eventually when I get it cast on. So that is it for knitting and acquisitions and everything from me uh, for this week and um, yeah as always if you want to keep up to date with me on a more regular basis then you can follow me over on Instagram which is uh, knitsby.aj and um, you can also find me on Ravelry as always links for everything will be down below and um, if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a like um, and maybe hit subscribe if you want to keep up with me in the future and yeah let me know what you're knitting um, or any spring cast ons that you're doing that kind of thing and I will catch up with you all again next week with more knitting <laughs> happy knitting mm -hmm.